What's up guys, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and welcome back to the channel. The Earth is a wonderful place, there are so many different destinations of beauty in the world, from the seven wonders of the world to some of the less known places. Sometimes space exploration seems so trivial when we really sit and think about how many amazing places there are in our world. In today's top 10 video, like our original list, this is our second list of places. We'll be taking a look again into the top 10 most beautiful places in the world. These are the top 10 most beautiful places you need to visit in the world. If you missed the first video, check it out in the link in the description below or at the end of the video. These locations are all great and are not ranked from order of best to worst due to not being able to categorize them. However, don't worry, there are so many more places in the world just as good as these, so we'll most likely do another video to show the rest. Without further ado, let's get into the list. Number 10, Algar de Bengal, Portugal. Located in the small Portuguese village of Bengal, Algar de Bengal is located in the Atlantic coast within the municipality of Lago Alagava. The village's history is rich and is known for making its way in the fishing trade before the 21st century. Since then it has become a tourist hotspot, something its present day economy relies on. Bengal is known for its vast sea caves of golden colour in close proximity to Marina Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the country. Algar in Portuguese is the word for a natural cave or cavity, also known as a grotto. To get to Algar de Benegal, this vast cave, the only way of access is via the water which is made possible via boat tours and specialised trips to this area. If you're more initiated, you can rent a kayak and row yourself as there's plenty of equipment available to rent also. For one year it usually costs around 20 euros for a two person kayak which can be a good alternative to the boat tours for anyone active. People can also swim out to the location as it's not too far away from Bengal beach itself. However, it is not recommended, especially for unexperienced swimmers, as days of harsh tide and tough seas can be dangerous. The cave is surrounded by golden strips that climb to its ceiling and the top comes to an opening where the rays of the sea and leak light onto the sand below. Number 9. Iguaza Falls, Argentina Also known as Iguacu Falls, the Iguazu Falls in Argentina are waterfalls located upon the Iguazu River on the border residing in the Misiones province in Brazil's state of Piranha. They make up the largest waterfall system in the world and split the river of Iguazu into the upper and lower segments. Although it's situated on the border, the majority of the falls are on Argentina's side. Iguazu means big water, derived from Guarani and Tupi words. Over 10,000 years into the past, the area along Iguazu Falls was inhabited by hunter-gatherers. The falls have an elevation of 195 meters and are 82 meters high with a width of 2,700 meters with 275 drops. The area is surrounded by rainforests which house over 2,000 different species of plants and flora. Number 8. Antelope Canyon, America. A slot canyon in the American Southwest, Antelope Canyon is located on Navajo land to the east of Page, Arizona. It has a depth of 37 meters, which is 120 feet, a floor elevation of 3,704 feet, which is 1,129 meters, and the upper segment of the canyon spans for a length of 200 meters, whilst the lower canyon spans for 1,335 feet, which is 407 meters. The canyon itself was formed by the result of erosion upon the Navajo sandstone which was caused by flash flooding and other natural processes. The smoothened look of the cave is also caused by erosion from rainwater rushing through it with sand into its narrow passages. Although floods do still happen at Antelope Canyon, they aren't too common with the last one happening in 2006 on October the 30th, lasting for a total of 36 hours. This flood caused the authorities of Tribal Park, who oversee the canyon, to close the lower segment for five months for safety precautions. Number 7. Arishiyama Bamboo Grove, Japan Located in western Kyoto, Japan, close to the temple of Tenryuji, the bamboo grove of Arishiyama can be reached via train which is the fastest means of travel. 
The JR train from Kyoto Station on the JR Sagano San Inline to Saga Arashiyama Station to be exact. From this stop, 10 minutes away is the trail to the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. Walking through the grove of bamboo is like being in your own world, segregated from the outside land as the bamboo trees reach the canopy of the forest around it. The area is a public 24 hour open spot and is a sight anyone visiting Kyoto should see. Number 6. The Azores, Portugal The Azores of Portugal are situated as an archipelago in the mid-Atlantic region. These sets of islands are home to amazing landscapes, greenery, fishing villages and more. The island is home to the Agua de Pau Massif, which is a stratovolcano located in São Miguel Center, one of the islands in the Azores. In the center of this volcano is a crater filled by a lake called the Lagao do Fogo, which looks amazing and spans for a length of 3 kilometers and width of 2.5 kilometers with a basin size of 21.82 kilometers squared, which is 8.42 square miles. The Azores are home to great sea life as well, such as whales and dolphins, the reason why whale and dolphin washing is so popular at the location. The water surrounding these islands are pure and nutrient rich, hence why they are home to such fast life. Popular activity for tourists and natives is diving, and is renowned as one of the best diving locations in the Atlantic. The sea has a temperature of 17 to 24 degrees Celsius and is a warm and deep blue which makes them beautiful to explore. The islands are a hotspot for geotourism, not only due to the volcano but for the many craters and cones, cave systems, rock formations and hot springs. Another volcano, the Capilinos, is a monogenetic volcano on the western coast of the Isle of Fayel part of the Azores. This type of volcano is one that is part of a volcanic field that consists of other smaller volcanoes that share of each other's plane. Number 5. Halong Bay, Vietnam Known for its deep green emerald waters, Halong Bay is situated in northeastern Vietnam and is home to thousands of small cylindrical islands of limestone towers with small rainforests at the top. To journey deep into the bay, tourists and visitors can go on junk boat tours and expeditions upon kayaks to visit the islands. Many people favour scuba diving, kayaks, hiking and rock climbing as primary activities to do along the site. In 1994, Halon Bay was designated as an International World Heritage Site and is a vision of pure natural beauty as well as Northern Vietnam's number one primary tourism hotspot. There are boat cruises on the waters which are primarily beautifully crafted wooden tour ships as well as restaurants built upon the waters to eat at and shops and stores of the locals situated around the waters that tourists can buy food and products such as clothes from. Number 4. Lake Takapo, New Zealand Lake Takapo is a small lake town that is located at the southern end of the Lake Takapo itself a bordering lake of the same name within the South Inland Island of New Zealand. The lake itself is the second largest of a group of three lakes which also include Lake Pikaki and Lake Ohau. They run parallel north-south along the northern edge of the Mackenzie Basin on the island. The lake itself runs for 32 square miles which measured a zone of 83 square kilometers at an altitude of 2330 feet or 710 meters above sea level. The area is a good location in terms of tourism and there are many landmarks and locations that run alongside the lake itself and its town. One of these is the Church of the Good Shepherd which sits upon the shores. The church is the first one built upon the Mackenzie Basin and was constructed in 1935. It's one of the most photographed churches in the country. The average depth of the lake is 69 meters or 226 feet with a max depth of 120 meters or 390 feet. In summer, the surrounding mountains are golden yellow and in winter, they are covered in snow. There is a lot to do in the area such as visiting the Tecapo Springs hot pools, taking helicopter tours around the snowy alpine land as well as active skiing and snowboarding sports on the great terrain nearby. Number 3. Napoli Coast, Hawaii Located in Hawaii, the Napoli Coast State Park spans for 6,175 acres of land in the centre of Kauai the oldest inhabited Hawaiian island that spans for 16 miles or 26 kilometers. 
Beginning at Kaye Beach and spanning southwest to the Polar Hale State Park, the coast has high cliffs along its shoreline that rise up to 4,000 feet or 1,200 meters alongside the Pacific. Established as an official site in 1983, the state park is close by to the Eastern Ono Onar Pali State Natural Reserve, which covers 3,578 acres of land, which is 14.5 kilometers squared. The island does not have any land coverable by vehicles, although it's a perfect location for hiking and walking trails or by helicopter and plane tours. Those who choose to tour the close by waters can do so by the use of kayak. From Port Allen and Hanalei Bay, the largest bay of the island's north shore, visitors can take tours via inflatable dinghy boats or catamarans. Some of these tours which travel from the north of south shores cover different locations, some even stopping to allow members to participate in snorkeling or looking for whales. Some of these tours include dinner packages upon high-end boats. Number 2. Troll Tonga, Norway. Norway, a beautiful country known for the northern lights, is home to Troll Tonga, one of the most spectacular rock formations in the world. The location is situated at the western edge of the hardened Gur Vidu Plateau and is in place 700 meters above the Ringa dels Vatnet Lake. The area is a gold mine for hikers and has a rough high mountain terrain which is demanding, but rewarding in terms of amazing views at its peak. The area is labelled by signposts for safety and directions and the trail is situated at 1180 meters high. The estimated time for hiking Troll Tonga is 8 to 12 hours which is pretty crazy but some people have traversed it in a lot shorter times. It really depends on which trail or directions you actually take as you actually hike up the mountain. The prime time for participating in the hike to Troll Tonga is around mid-June time, primarily the beginning as the snow melts and is better for safety right up until the end of September. It's a strenuous climb but definitely one to tick off the list for every serious hiker or adventurer. The first ascent is the worst and most tough as it's a pure one kilometer constant of steep stone step and gravel climbing with rough terrain throughout. After this there are shorter climbs as it gets slightly easier as the trail levels out. Some hikers have been on record to reach the peak of Troll Tonga in three and a half hours from the car park. At its peak, there are many accomplished hikers and travellers taking photos and waiting to stand up on the ledge for that perfect shot. Number 1. A Penzel, Switzerland Situated in Switzerland to the northern east at the foot of the Alpstein Mountains, a Penzel is a town with amazing scenery and great trails nearby. Neighbouring summits are connected via walking trails and cable cars and the area is located upon an area with an elevation of 780 metres high. The main language of a pencil is the local variant of the Alemannic Swiss German dialect with the standard of the German language in use. The area is surrounded by beautiful rolling hills and is a region known for rural customs and traditions such as the tradition of the cattle descent in autumn and known for its deep Swiss cultural events such as folk, dance and music. Tourists can treat themselves to hikes and hiking tours in the Alp to Stai mountain region and the area has a low number of inhabitants with a population of some 7,000 plus people. The village is a car free zone, one as the majority of inhabitants get around via foot and the area is scattered with antique stores, markets and more as well as a town hall and museum known as the Appenzel Museum which are all equally rich in culture and history. In the winter, the area is one of fairy tale, with snowy white top mountains with winter walking and skiing as the primary activity for visitors. In summer, the area is more suitable for hiking and traversing via the cableways. Switzerland is known as the original source of some of the most popular and tasty cheeses for dairy lovers and those who visit the Appenzeler Schaukasserei in Stein can enjoy free sampling of some of the most famous local cheeses. Due to the rich dairy culture, there are many cows and cattle that are milked and looked after in Appenzeler. The wooden houses of the locals are painted in various different colours and are a cute sight to see with various cafes for visitors to enjoy coffees and cakes at. If you enjoyed the video give it a like. If you disagree with the opinions in this video and think one of your favourite places isn't on this list, definitely let me know what it is in the comment section below and make sure to check out part 1 in the description 
or at the link on the end of this video screen for more awesome places. If you want to see more top 10 videos like this and daily gaming videos, subscribe to the channel for more so you don't miss out and so you can join any giveaways that we may be having this month. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.